Hello everybody, here we are again and uh, I'm under wall today and had to come in because Saturday's dialysis didn't work so this is kind of a, an emergency session as they call it, get me in swiftly. Um, we've had success today, it took two hours but uh, uh, clearly I've had some problems again with my blood clotting uh, but the nurses eventually succeeded. We've done it a little bit differently. Um, uh, just so I can show you, it's slightly different. But there's only one needle running in today. Uh, you'll notice the wonderful drawing on my arm, familiar to those of you who saw the uh, video uh, with the uh, pictures after my ultrasound. Uh, so they could work out where the vein was, helps guide them in. Um, I've been told not to wash, they want me to keep the, uh, uh, that mark on. So it's done with a single needle, what's called a Y connector and so the blood's going in just through the one needle this time um but uh yeah so success today uh quite a few quite, quite a way to go today um only just started but hopefully things will carry on as planned there won't be a blow or anything and uh i'll have another four hours okay so just to keep things updated i managed 45 minutes um, before the needle went again, they think it um, clotted up a bit, so um, they've tried to needle me again. Um, we've tried to put heparin in the needle to uh, help stop the blood clotting. Um, uh, that hasn't worked, and that, uh, now my arm won't stop bleeding at the moment, so a um, uh, little bit of problems. We're going to call it a day today. Um, I'm going to um, continue this video in for tomorrow because I'm bringing me back in tomorrow uh, to have another go. Um, so, uh, see you tomorrow. I will be on the same video. So, see you in a couple of seconds. So, here I am back on the ward. It's now Tuesday. Um, now, we managed to get both needles in. Uh, the deputy matron Debbie came along and uh, with her 25 years experience got both needles in and running first time. It's kind of been running for an hour again, um, same as it did yesterday. And um, we started to get some blood clotting problems. And you've already seen it's just uh, uh, come up with a, a minor warning behind me because um, they're currently flushing some saline uh, as well. And I've increased my tens of pine, the anticoagulants. So, so far so good today, um, we'll see how things go, um, um, it's quite late in the day uh, as well, um, so we might not get the full four hours in, uh, we'll see how we get on. So, brief update, um, uh, we had a few little problems, um, uh, the machine it started to show slides that my blood lines are clotting, so, so uh, they flushed the saline through and it's um, the change says we're not going to be going quite for four hours today but uh, uh, we're, we're going all right it's it's progressing the other interesting thing is today is I had my first EPO uh, injection and iron uh, through the machine this is something um, that again you'll learn about that you need EPO it's uh, something your kidneys normally produce to help tell your body to produce haemoglobin uh, and my haemoglobin levels had got quite low so um, I'll be getting that every week now um, unfortunately it doesn't have to be injected it all happens through the machine here uh, so um, uh, that should increase my red blood cell and hopefully make me feel a bit better a bit more energy and all that stuff so, uh, but we seem to be getting on quite well. It looks like we're past the halfway mark today. Uh, see how we go. So I'm back home. Um, it's been a successful day. Uh, I'm really quite relieved. Um, as I say, um, I'm calling her one shot Debbie from now on. The uh, uh, deputy manager got the needles in first time. And uh, got me on. We had a few problems with blood clotting. Uh, for those of you who are observant, you'll see the alarm that sounded uh, while I was talking to you earlier was a PBE alarm. And that's something, um, a feature built into my dialysis machine, that, that particular brand, um, that monitors the 
uh, pressure uh, the blood pressure going into the dialyzer unit itself uh, for uh, uh, and is one of one of the reasons that goes high, which is what the alarm was saying, is because the blood is clotting. Um, so they adjusted the amount of anticoagulant again, um, and we got a stable um, three and a bit hours of dialysis done. Uh, so um, that's good news. So before I go, uh, I'm just going to change tack from the original video. Um, I'm recording this audio the next morning, just as I was doing uh, and assembling uh, the video for upload. And um, uh, the reason I've done this change of tack is I've woken up this morning and I actually feel really good for a change. Uh, I normally wake up quite achy, uh, my joints hurt, um, and I don't feel like I have a good night's sleep. I still feel quite fatigue normally when I wake up um, but this morning I feel quite good um, not so achy uh, I feel uh, a bit more full of energy and whether that's a result of the EPO uh, I'm not sure but I thought I'd share with you the results of dialysis um, and I've got a couple of graphs Ooh, boring nice statistics um, but actually these are really important uh, and this first graph is the journey of my creatinine levels um, over the past couple of years. Now, uh, starting at the very left was about early 2017 when I was first admitted uh, to the renal department post my bout with sepsis, which is the, the primary reason why my kidneys have gone pear-shaped. Um, you can see the gradual increase in my creatinine levels over the past couple of years. And this is one of the key markers I use to calculate the GFR, globular filtration rate, uh, which is a number, again, for those of you in pre-dialysis, you'll hear an awful lot. Um, now, you'll see as I, it's climbing steadily over the two-year period, and in the right, very right-hand edge, if you look carefully, you'll see this incredibly sharp drop of the cliff right down to zero. And that was the results of my bloods taken last Saturday, after my successful dialysis on Thursday, and you can see my blood creatinine levels are back down to almost zero. Um, this next graph, uh, similarly, is urea. Um, now, creatinine, which is produced by the liver from creatine, not to be confused, urea is also produced by the liver from uh, nitrogen, if I remember my, my own level biology. Um, and again, both of these substances are usually excreted at the kidneys. Urea, obviously urine, that's kind of where we get the names from. Uh, and again, you're seeing my blood urea levels uh, and the same sort of climb over the past two years. And then Saturday's results, straight off the cliff, right down to the bottom again. Um, so that is how good dialysis is at filtering my blood. And, to be honest, that's a surprise to me too, because I expected it to be a slow decline back down to normal, not such a sharp cliff. So uh, having seen these results, it's like, whoa, OK. Um, and I thought I'd share those with you. So uh, there we go. Dialysis, it's all worth it. Even through all the troubles of all the needling and all the hassle and all the frustrations. And it does get to you. Um, there we go. Actual statistical proof it's worth it it's a good thing um so on we go now um i say i'd just like to say at this point thanks for all your comments um especially those of you who are also on dialysis with me um uh, i'm fascinated by the comments from some of you about how your machine has differed from mine and um uh, i might uh put on another video how the dialysis circuit is wired for me because apparently that's also something that can differ between patients. Um, but I've got a few other ideas to talk about and uh, the team here at Oxford University Hospitals are, are keen as well. So um, uh, hopefully we've got a few more videos. Stick with me, the journey on goes and um, I'll speak to you all soon. So take care.